Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside Indiana Overtime. Alex McCarthy, Seth Tao, uh, here at a very busy night at Assembly Hall um, where Indiana beat Southeast Missouri State 83-55. Uh, to 55. Um, But during the game, Indiana football got its bowl assignment. Um, and, so I, and then we talked to IU head coach Tom Allen at halftime. Uh, so there's just a lot of football things to be doing. So that's what I was doing during the game while Seth was watching the game, tweeting along with it, writing, etc. Um, so Seth, um, basically, what happened? Tonight? Tell us, tell us <laughs> what happened in this um, game tonight. They won, Indiana won 83 to 55. Um, it was a big start for the Hoosiers. They got out to a 50 to, 15 to two lead pretty early. Um, Curtis Jones sparked it a little bit. Juwan Morgan got out to a nice early start. Um, Morgan, again, second consecutive game, he didn't miss a single shot. He finished four for four from the field. He, he missed one free throw. But from the field, he's made, dating back to the last game, he's made 12 in a row. So he's on a bit of a tear. Um, Jerron Davis had a second straight breakout game, finished with 14 points. Um, and he's showing improvement in his conditioning. Green keeps talking about the hockey shifts they're putting him on and how they're kind of getting a little bit longer. Yeah, so, he loves that joke. He loves the hockey line change. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> said that at least like 10 times about Davis. And then Davis said it again tonight. He got to a big start. Um, late in the first half, the, de the defense started to collapse a little bit. Um, just lost some energy. Uh, Green pointed that out after the game also, said that's something they need to improve on, just being consistent with the energy throughout the game. Um, but it didn't, they got better in the second half. They re-energized and shut down uh, the Red Hawks. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's what they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, a couple of things that just stand out on the box score. Um, 18 turnovers. You asked Tom right, Green about yeah. that after the game. <laughs> he was um, not happy about it. Yeah, yeah. He was, <laughs> just in general, he was not happy after the game. Um, yeah, he, he didn't make an opening statement. He didn't want to talk about the chest bump that he had with Thomas Bryant, which was the highlight of the night that we missed. Uh, when we were going down to talk to Tom Allen, but um, yeah, he, he just yeah, did not seem so, very satisfied. I mean, and speaking of Brian, he got off to a really slow start. He didn't attempt a single shot in the entire first half. Um, he only had like three boards in the first half. He ended up finishing with a solid line, seven points, ten rebounds. But I mean, to not even attempt a field goal in the first half is right. unlike Thomas Bryan. And he, well, and he only took two shots all game. That's something I wanted to ask too. Is um, he took two he, shots? He only, he, the one that he made, I think, was with like four minutes left in the game. So it wasn't even a shot that really mattered. Um, it, it just, you know, it just didn't seem like he was really involved that much in the paint. But he, he finished with a great line, 10 rebounds, uh, three assists, four blocks, three steals. He did everything but score, basically, it seemed like. Right. And what I've, what I've kind of noticed the past couple of games is it really seems like Deron Davis is starting to take over the primary post position for Indiana. And Thomas Bryant can move down to the post, but he comes out of the post so often that Deron Davis is really becoming the main option, it seems like, for Indiana, just straight up in the post. Wow. Uh, Herald Times, Spoons and Herald Times column with Jeremy Price <laughs> is draining threes right now. Oh, wow. well, he was. Um, sorry. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, it, it just seems like Indiana's had a hard time feeding the post all year with Bryant, um, where it, you know, he, he's certainly more assertive rebounding the ball this year. Um, he gets, he's just so much stronger, so much, uh, it just seems like he's in the a better place to rebound the ball, especially defensively this year. But, but yeah, it, there's been a very kind of inconsistent offensive, you know, scoring output, I guess, from Bryant this year, which obviously is a little bit of an issue when, you know, one of your best players is not even, like, shooting the ball. I mean, the ball is still going through him. He, got, he shot six free throws tonight. So yeah. he, he's getting to the line, but I mean, just it was weird that he didn't attempt an, a single shot in the entire first half. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, uh, and, know, it's, it's, and it's not like he had a massive number of assists to go to make up for it. He had yeah. three assists, but it's not like he didn't attempt a shot because he was just dishing out assists everywhere. Right, right. Uh, but Josh, Josh Newkirk was. He finishes with eight assists, right. eight points, four rebounds. Um, so another. You know, quietly pretty good night from him. Again, shooting the ball was kind of an adventure for him. He was two for eight. Um, but, you know, he's, he's proven to be kind of that facilitator that, that Indiana wanted him to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But other than that, I, I don't know if there's really anything else from tonight. Um, Tom Green didn't really 
update OG Ananobi's status really at all. He just said that he's coming along, just kind of the same stuff that we've been hearing. But again, it sounds like they're not going to be without him for very much longer. He'll, Indiana has until Saturday, so almost a full week before their next game. Um, and then and after that, after another, that. yeah, um, before the Crossroads Classic in Indy. So Ananobi's going to have plenty of time to rest up before Indiana's next meaningful game, which is... They might, just, they might just let him study for his finals until the Butler game. Yeah, and then Charlie Duffy of IU Athletics just drained a half-court shot. This is this is as entertaining as the game itself tonight. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think that's that's basically all we've got yeah. from here. This wasn't a game where we really learned anything new no. about Indiana. It, made, it reaffirmed a couple things that we already knew, that the turnovers are kind of in, in, inconsistent. It showed that maybe Jawan Morgan is ready to take, keep taking this next step, yeah. and, and this that Friday may not have been a fluke. And Jawan Davis is still breaking out. But I mean, aside from that, I mean, there's not much to be really learned about Indiana. Right, there. right. It's just one of those games where, you know, if you're Indiana, just hope that everyone is healthy at the end of the game. So, and they are. They're fine. They looked good enough. Um, so yeah. It should be, in, be interesting to see where they check in the polls tomorrow. Yeah. Like in a week where number one, number one Kentucky went down and Indiana and took down three. number three. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see how much they jump tomorrow. So, certainly stay tuned to the site for that. <laughs> uh, but until then. Got the plug in. Yeah. Uh, thanks again for watching. We're going to have tons of content just of all of the things that are happening right now with football, basketball. Lots of content. Yeah. There's, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, lots going on. So thanks for watching. Uh, this has gone on entirely too long for this game. But uh, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Have a good week, and we will talk to you soon.